Okay. People want to know how this got so smooth. Genuine answer. I don't really know. But I can give you my best guess. So, yeah, it's pretty smooth on its own. Um, thing number one. All of these walls in here are very, very, very smooth. They're lubricated with olive oil. And they're just these walls. So there's no, like, uh, I, I did I did revise it since last time because it had these type of walls where they are. There's those, there's infinitesimally small little bumps. If you put your finger up against them and you rub it back and forth, you can feel it. Whereas on these, there's basically none. And so you just have a bunch of those lining it. And then it runs really smoothly because there's no, there's no, um, there's nothing for it to get caught on, for the piston to get caught on. Um, another thing I did, I made sure everything was glued together, and it was all like... So this, there's this top bit, this top plate, and it's slightly... Some, not all Lego pieces, seem to be 100% symmetrical. So like, if I put this piece on with... Um, I'll just put a marker piece so you can tell. If I put it with this side, like that, I, I don't know actually, but I know one side is... This side is, there's less friction on this little yellow valve, but if I put it on this side, there's more friction. So less friction, more friction, just because of the way Legos are designed. So I basically went through, and if I could hear, like, obviously you can't hear it on this one because it's, one, it's, there's a fan on, which I probably should turn off, but um, it's also, you could, if you put your ear next to it, like, like right that you can hear the plastic rubbing up against each other and so you, if you can hear like a and you can kind of tell roughly where it is on the point so like i was getting occasionally like right in the middle of the stroke right there i was it was getting like you could feel it get caught it didn't affect per performance cuz it still got those really fast speeds but it was affecting it just kind of so that's why i replaced it furthermore um big flywheel keeps it going so if I was to take this flywheel off it's still super smooth that's just the basis but it allows it to run smoother um, make sure you use olive oil all smooth parts all strong build um, so I'm just taking this apart basically so taking this apart there's the valve and take that out so like in there, that's all one piece, so it's extra smooth. So the actual piston itself is built strong, but the camshaft it's connected to, I saw this once on a on a video. I don't remember exactly who did it, but maybe maybe if I remember I'll put it in the description. It is a so it's a one by four it's a uh, there you go, that's probably a better view. A one by four little Technic piece. It's got an axle running into it and is some 1x2s with a Technic axle in the middle and then I just have a, uh, a pin running through them and some 1x2 one by, one by plates to add more weight. It's not perfect because it still kind of shakes but it's better and so what I believe is when it's when there is a counterweight to it and it's going around if this is the piston, this is the counterweight, and it's moving in the opposite direction, less friction forces, and there's the flywheel has to move. It's going to be more efficient because the flywheel has to move less mass going up because that's already it's already balanced. So one of the main reasons people have flywheels on like their SVS single valve single cylinder uh, piston of uh, engines is because the inertia from the flywheel. Just rebuilding the engine here. The inertia from the flywheel keeps the piston going. Uh, you can you don't have to always have a flywheel on a two-cylinder system, but on one cylinder, people like to have a, uh, a flywheel. But like, if you have a if you have a good counterweight, then you don't have to rely on that as much, and so less energy is used. Because less energy is used, it makes it more efficient, and because it's so in turn, it makes it smoother because it looks like if you were just spinning an axle with a wheel against it, that's basically what this is. Um, 
Another thing I noticed that might make it really smooth is actually the internal diameter of the piston itself. It's a square piston, just a 4x4, four four, but, and I doubt, oh, I doubt you can tell, because it's really minute. Um, it's just a standard piece of speed piston, but it's, there's a gap. There's like a noticeably large gap on the inside of the piston. You, you can't see it, but it is there. It's like like a sheet of paper, maybe two, and that amount of space, I think, gives it better, like it's not rubbing on the walls as much. I think that also just has to come down to that, you know, this plate is different in different orientations, and not all Lego pieces come out of the mold the same. Some are used, some are new, and different configurations of shapes. So I think that affects how, f like, the speed of it. Um, other than that, there really is, like, no other way I've just gotten it this smooth. I, like, I am astounded that I've gotten it this, this smooth. I made, like I said, I made this just as, like, a fun little project to, so I could, I could run it off my air, like, my mouth air, and I wanted it to be incredibly smooth so that I could do that and not be, like, like, uh, like the bigger engine where I have to, like, take in a full deep breath so that I can uh, even turn it like a few revolutions, whereas this thing, I can, give me a sec, it's still going, click, I can just put that on, put that on, that on, still super smooth, it's not perfect actually, uh, there is a, and then like just make sure the walls aren't like pressing up against it, you can like push the walls, so like that, you can push the walls kind of like that, so they're a little bit less frictiony on the surface. But yeah, just small things like that. Um, and so, and like this yellow piece, you occasionally have to wiggle it about so that it's, like that's, there's friction there. And I don't want friction there. So, I'll just, I'll give you a little test of what it sounds like just on air from the mouth, not from a vacuum, because... Just, just just show the efficiency of it. Like it, it's pretty fast. And then my favorite part actually is um because of how smooth it runs, I can run it without a without a flywheel. I don't know how impressive that is, but it seems pretty impressive to me. Like here you go. Like it doesn't stay going for very long, but it so long as I have breath, I can do it at, uh, pushing air too. It sounds pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, I hope that answers the question of how I got it that's this fast. Um, send me a comment. Uh, if that didn't answer your question, I'll try to answer it better there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the people who subscribed. That was cool. I did not expect that. Uh, have a great day. Good night.